Hello everybody and welcome back to Tech It with XRX99X. So, what I plan on doing this episode is taking care of this uh, 64 solar panel thing we had and uh, turn it into medium voltage solar rays to provide power for our quarry and our machines and get started in red power so we can get involved with stuff like um, pneumatic tubes, uh, a, lo a lot of stuff. So, that'll help us from keeping our uh, recycler from overflowing. So that'll help a lot because it's just constantly overflowing and um, it's a little bit of a problem. But, see, it's already overflowed again. But we'll get that fixed eventually. Um, so yeah, so let's get started. So the first thing we are going to need to do is find some gold. So there might be some down in the mine. Um, we need some gold just because we need to make two times insulated gold cables for our, um, for our, oh god, what's the word, for our medium voltage solar array for our solar panels. So unfortunately I'm gonna have to go down and find some gold. So I think we're gonna have to go down the cave right here. We'll come in here, um... I'm sorry I haven't put out a video in a little while, um, I've just been busy with getting my summer reading done for school and stuff, and I'm not even done yet, but, yeah, I'm not, I'm not really done yet, but, <laughs> yeah, so I'm sorry I haven't gotten out a video in a while, um, yeah, it's kind of a pain in the ass with this computer to make videos, because it takes, like, a couple hours to render a video, but, yeah, okay, I'm gonna find this gold. I don't think I'm gonna show the whole thing, though. Aha, here we go. Some gold. I did dig a hole down with my, uh, my red matter tools, and it led me right to gold. Perfect. Uh, let's see, what can we drop? Oh my god, I got a lot of nickelite. Okay, now let's fly back up, because I think we're actually near the top, maybe. Somewhere around here. Here we go. I see some daylight out here. Alright, so now we'll go back to the factory. Over here. Alright, so, first we're going to need to make 8 low voltage solar arrays, and then, um, 1 medium voltage solar array. So I think they're pretty cheap. Let's just put all this stuff in the macerator. There we go. Um, okay, yeah. Let's just see what we have. Do we have any copper cables left? Oh, good, we have a half stack left, okay. And then we need three copper. I think we need eight refined iron. Put that right in there. And then for the normal, for the uh, low voltage array, or the low voltage. God, what are they called? The low voltage transformers. I think we need some wood. Which I think I have plenty of somewhere. Maybe out back. It's not a big deal because I got plenty of wood. No. Watch how easy it is to just chop down a tree there. There we go. A little bit of lag. Alright, that'll be enough. So we'll come back to the factory. And let's see, we'll make... Let's see, I'm gonna need some more copper. Oh crap, you know what, it's gonna... Shoot. We're gonna try to make a lot of stuff this episode, such as some transposers for these chests, some, um, 
What are they called? I don't really know what they're called. Um, some pneumatic tubes, redstone tubes, project table, so we don't have to keep like uh, quitting out to get stuff. And then, yeah, we'll try to make those this episode. I should make low voltage transformers. There we go. And then we take, let's see. to make eight low voltage solar arrays and then we gotta make the refined iron do we have any rubber left? alright yeah we do um, we don't need many golden cables either I gotta put these in the macerator real quick okay so we'll get started by making ourselves a machine block And while we're waiting, um, while we're waiting for that, what we'll do is start by getting some uh, clay on the beach so we can make some um, bricks which we need for an alloy furnace. So I'll go ahead and look for some clay, although you know what, screw it, it's probably done by now gold. Yeah, I already see it. We only need like three pieces. So we'll wait for those to come. There we go. And then... Uh, okay, now we only need two of these. So, one, two. There we go. Okay, so now, the medium voltage transformers is this, I think. Yep, there we go. Surround so the low voltage solar arrays around that. And then we get a medium voltage solar array. So, this will give us so much more power storage um, for our thing. Which is awesome. So, we'll put this right up here. I think it's nighttime, so although no, it's still getting power. Let's see if it's charging it up. Should be. Nope, not now. Let's go to bed first. And it's going up like a crazy amount now, so um, now we can actually, instead of using these crappy uh, coal engines, for the quarry, we can actually power it with our um, electricity, but I'm going to need to get some more fiber wire cables made, which now that we have our power flower condenser thing there, uh, we won't have a problem with diamonds for the fiber wire, but yeah. And soon, very soon, we're going to think about getting nuclear power. I know it's not the best choice, but I know a pretty good setup so that it doesn't explode. And um, it seems to work good on every creative world and survival world I do and stuff, so we're going to get a nuclear power plant set up in one of these next few episodes, and then we can start going to mass fabrication, quantum suit armor. It's, re it's really helpful. Okay, so now that we've done that, I'm going to go on the coast and look for some clay for bricks for our al alloy furnace, because um, we're going to need an alloy furnace to make pneumatic tubes, Transposers, and I think this is all clay right here. Perfect. Alright, now that we've gotten that, man, we got a lot of clay. Holy shit. We got 46 clay that fast. Wow. Okay. So I'm gonna need to search up how to make an alloy furnace because I'm a freaking noob at this game. I don't even know how to make bricks. So, oh, alright, that's easy enough. We may need more clay though. Let's see. Put these right in here. 
Okay, so we got our bricks, and what we do with these is just, I think I only need like 32 maybe. Perfect, and then eight bricks, put these in an eight, like that, alloy furnace, there we go. So we don't need anything too special with this, we'll put it right here. Um, we'll get a more advanced setup uh, soon, because I'm going to plan on expanding this place a little bit. But, oh my god, remember when we had the big factory that was, like, from out here all the way to, like, out way there? That was crazy. We really didn't need that much space, but, yeah. Okay, so how this works is, um, you smelt, like, two different types of metals together, and it'll create different stuff. So I think for this brass, for the pneumatic tubes, we just need tin and copper. So I'm not gonna make much, because I don't think it requires all that much. So I'll put in some tin, put in some copper, and as you guys can see, it's cooking, and that'll create brass, yes it does, and that is actually a lot of brass. I think we're only going to need maybe 16, although no, I'm going to need more than that, but um, uh, yeah, you know what, I'm definitely going to need more than that, I'm going to need like a stack of this stuff, but um, yeah, it's um, it's helpful because these um, pneumatic tubes, which is made with gr brass and glass, just like any other type of pipe, they don't overflow like these. So, if you have it hooked up to like a transposer, sucking it out of a chest, and uh, this recycler is full, it'll like try to go, but then it'll just go back into the transposer. And um, it'll stay there until the recycler gets unstuck again, which is really helpful because um, it's just very helpful and no overflowing. It's and the items move faster than uh, the buildcraft pipes, and it's it's a pretty good thing to make. So I've got like 28. Although no, you know what? I, I have plenty because I think each one makes like. I think, I think each, uh, pneumatic tube makes a lot, like, eight, yeah, alright, we got enough, that's plenty, so, what I'm gonna do, I bet this is fully charged by now, yep, that fast, that's a good thing, um, okay, so what I'm gonna do, is actually, just have it go back, do I have any cobblestone pipes? I need some cobblestone pipes. Oh, you know what? I can just steal them. Here. There we go. Throw away this gravel. What the hell? There we go. So come over to this wooden house. And we'll have these pipes. These quarry pipes go back into here. So that, I think we're out of coal actually, which is not a big deal because I don't... I wonder how much metals we have. Let's see. Oh wow, we have a lot. Anyways, I'm gonna, let's see if I can turn down my sound a little bit. Sorry if I made your ears bleed. I can't really tell on like the stereo mix how loud it is and on these headphones how loud it is because it's kind of different. Okay, so what I'm going to do is build a transposer first of all. They're really easy to make, I think. Um, I think it's just like a piston. God damn it. Um, recycler. Perfect. All right. I think they're really easy to make. Let's see what a transposer needs. Alright, so it needs a piston, two wood, three cobblestone, or five cobblestone, and a redstone. So, I'll need two redstone, um, one iron, Uh, some cobblestone, some wood I need. I'll get some more wood. What? Oh, 
Okay. Oh my god. This is ridiculous. Oh, I want I want the oak ones. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So we'll come back and uh, make ourselves a piston, which is really easy. I think it's just like... Please do not tell me I got it the wrong way around. Please. Oh my gosh. And then... For some reason, I really hate making pistons. I don't know why. They're, they're kind of annoying to make, to be honest. And I think it was just wood at the top. God damn it. I was right the entire time. Okay. So now with this, we'll put it. We're gonna have to make a screwdriver too. Um, we'll put it. What goes in these? Okay, we'll just put it right here. Shit. Oh, there we go. Okay. That's the right direction. And then. It should be the right direction. Oh my god. Oh no. Yeah, but that is the right direction. So I'm gonna wire this up. To our machine. Jesus Christ, what is that? Oh my god. These red matter machine or these red matter tools, they're fucking crazy. Okay, so we'll leave this in. I'm gonna decharge my weapon because it's being way too strong. So now, we'll take the pneumatic tube from there. We're gonna have to wait for this stuff to dry, or turn back into dirt. Hopefully it does. That's really ugly. Shit. I wonder if we'll have enough time to make a timer this episode because we need that to get the actual transposer to work. Although you got, you know what? I probably should have made a filter because a filter actually sucks stuff out one at a time or er, in whole stacks, as opposed to the transposer, which sucks it out only one at a time. It's a little bit unfortunate. I probably should have done that. Come on, let me in. There we go. Um, will that go in there? I don't know. I'm not taking any chances. We'll make like a cool little shelf thing. We can make it work. And then we have to go have this go into the respective area. So it goes into the top. Alright. That's fine. There we go, perfect. So it's all wired up. And um, I'll get like a nice little like shelf thing. So that looks kind of cool. And um, I think that's probably a good area to end for today because, although maybe not. I mean, I guess we could start making timer stuff. Possibly. We'll start on it. So let me see how much time we have. And I'll get the stuff together to make the timers and stuff. And then I'll see how we're um, doing on time. Alright guys, so um, I'm going to get working on making some stone cathodes. We don't have too much time left. So I'm not going to go ahead and make the full timer. But what we do is we just cook up some stone. And with that... Which I wish I had some, to be honest, but... Today, I'm probably gonna make... Let's see, what can we make? 
I don't want this video to be too long because some people don't really watch it if it's super long. Okay, so we need some. St I'll make the stone wafers and the stone wires. Although, you know what? Screw it. I might as well just make the whole entire thing. There's just my dog barking as usual. Okay, let's see. How much do we have? We got 25. So. Alright, let's see. So we need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I had exactly one half. How crazy is that? Then we just smelt, smelt these into stone cathodes. And those will get transferred down. I'm going to condense some redstone now. Because um, I, don't, I might not have enough. So I'm going to need to... It's just oh never mind. That'll be plenty. Oh I don't want a creeper to blow up or anything. <laughs> if you press the R key on your keyboard with the red matter uh katana It'll just like kill all the enemies around you. It's pretty cool. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to make two stone anodes. So I'll go ahead and empty out my chest here because it's quite annoying having all that shit in your uh, inventory. I keep saying chest instead of inventory. I noticed it in the last video. It's really weird. I don't know. Alright, so. Jesus Christ. Okay, we only need one set of those. And then we need a stone pointer or a stone cathode. Excuse me. Um So I'll make a redstone torch on top of that stone cathode. Mm. Okay. So we need 3 of these stone wires and then lastly a stone pointer which needs one stone from the chest okay so we'll go like that I'm gonna need to make it another redstone torch There we go. Okay, so I think it went like this, then these, then these, then the stone cathode, then these, and we get a timer. Alright, so what we do with this is if we go to our. Alright, so that turned back into dirt, but hopefully turns back into grass. Alright, so what we do with this is we put it on a. Um, thing level to the transposer and if we put it down it'll send a pulse to the transposer which is not sucking out for some reason because there's nothing in the chest but if we put the stone in there should suck it out there it goes and it'll go down the uh, pneumatic tube so the transposer unfortunately only sucks out one at a time but um, you can set it up with a filter so that it sucks out a whole stack at a time. But if you get your uh, timer fast enough, it'll um, it'll send it out pretty fast. So if we come to the uh, recycler, it should be eventually pumping into the recycler soon. Here it comes. Now go into the recycler. And be pumped out by the wooden the wooden pipe. And here comes a big load. There we go. That works good. Now if it overflows, it'll just go back into the uh, chest, I think. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much all the time we have today. So I'm going to um, let it off there. So thank you guys so much for watching. 
We got a fair amount of progress done. Wait, we actually got a lot of progress done, Jesus. Oh, alright, yeah. See you guys next time. Goodbye.